Hey everyone, um, Natalie here, how are you going? I'll just um, wait for a couple more people to join in and um, just bring it up on my screen here in front of me so I can see what I am doing. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I am involved this weekend in a fantastic show called The Great Australian Craft Show and it is an online craft show pretty much. Um, at the moment things are really quiet in my little industry and um, we are, are doing something fantastic online to show I won't be a moment. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate how to um, create some really cool backgrounds using stencils and Lindy's products, Stencil Girl products. Um, I've got a huge sale on this weekend on my website, which is nataliemay.com.au and I have got 15% off stencils, stamps, Lindy's products, paper pads and paper packs plus an additional 10% off of kits and um, Boom Gel uh, 20 has 20% 20 as well. So I'm just going to power through here. I can't see um, up on my screen to, um, to make sure that I've got everything in view but you know what? Oh, we'll just wing it. So, nope, no, here we go. Now I can see myself. Alrighty, so what I've got in front of me here is um, a, a small range of stencils. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate a few little cool techniques for you and show you how to um, create some really cool and interesting backgrounds. Um, stencils are not only just for mixed media, but they're also for card makers and scrapbookers as well and I have a, a great range available. Um, a stencil is something that will look like this. It's a, it's a flimsy little stencil and you can um, create a fantastic impression on your project. Um, I have created quite a few different projects in my time in, in art journaling and scrapbooking and card making. Um, so, all right, let's just get into it. I'm going to show you quickly how to use stencils with Lindy sprays and how to create some awesome backgrounds with Lindy sprays. So I've just got a piece of plain white cardstock here. I'm going to use a stencil. They, they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. So um, this one here is uh, a mask really because it's um, it doesn't really have an edge and it, it leaves a great impression but it's um, essentially a really thin and flimsy sort of little piece of plastic. Uh, we have got, this is the Dina Wakeley one, this is the, I think it's I think cascading leaves or something along those lines. Um, I've got some pipes here and this is a stencil girl stencil and it is, um, as you can see, it's really well used. Um, this is the one that I'm, um, I've, I've used a lot, as you can see, because it's a really, really versatile. So what I'm going to do on this plain piece of cardstock uh, is just show you quickly how to use it with some modelling paste. So modelling paste is a paste that is going to leave texture on our project. So I'm going to use, I've got a whole heap of this coming in. Hopefully it'll be in on Monday. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to make it here in time. I'm using a, a palette knife to swipe it over the top of my cardstock. Um, super easy technique. It's like you are putting peanut butter on toast or Vegemite on toast. You're just wiping it up and down. And with this particular stencil, I'm following the grain of or just following the pattern 
So as you can see, I'm just wiping it on, wiping it off. Don't want it to make to be too thick. I want it to be able to dry. Um, and then just take off the excess. Put my lid back on. And peel off your stencil. So peeling it off is going to leave that beautiful leafy pattern there. Like so. So once you've done this step, there's so many things that you can do. You can coat it with Lindy sprays. Um, I'm just gonna throw that off to the side. I'm gonna pop this aside to dry. So you can either let this air dry or you can um, let it, um, like hit it with the heat gun to dry it off and super, very cool. That one's a little bit glossy, so that's just like a, a semi-gloss paste. Um, so I'll pop that aside. Um, here is a couple that I have prepared earlier. So that is that, that design there, just dried up. Um, I have got the mandala dried up. I've got some pipes dried up there. And on a 12 by 12 piece of paper here, I have um, done that big building stencil. So that is what you're looking at there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add some color to these stencils. So what I've got is some Lindy sprays. So I've also got this weekend Lindy sprays on special as well. So all Lindy's products this weekend are going to be 15% off. So that price will automatically be calculated when you get to the checkout. So when you buy one of these awesome Lindy sprays, Lindy's have been around for 23, 24 years. They are not a new product. They are um, a well-established brand in America and Australia and across the world. Um, and as most of you know, I am the Australia Australian educator for Lindy's and um, ambassador. So when you buy them, they come with a, as a powder in the sprays. And what you need to do is fill to the fill line Give it a shake and let it sit for 10 minutes. Here in Adelaide, our water is a bit ordinary, so um, I use filtered tap water, boil it in the kettle, let it come back to room temperature and, um, and give it a shake. So I've got a couple of different colours here and I just give it a, a quick shake backwards and forwards. So I have got Bougainvillea Fuchsia and Magnolia Magenta Gold. So you can see all of that beautiful shimmer sitting in the bottom. I'm going to use this one first. So with this, all I'm going to do uh, is spray my paper. So you can see my stenciled background there. And I'm just going to spray. And I'm going to be super generous with my spray. Get it on there. So I've just gone across and now I'm just going to lightly pick that up. And what's happening is the spray is following the stenciled image. What I'm now going to do is just give it a little bit more flow by just using some water in a spray bottle and let that drip down my page. Awesome, instant background. I can layer up my color if I want to, so I can add the Bougainvillea Fuchsia to it as well to give it a little bit of depth, mix up my colors. And you can kind of see how that color is pulling beautifully in and around my stenciled image. So you can create some really awesome backgrounds with them. Uh, let me show you a couple I have done previously. So I've got stenciling through the middle here and you can see that Lindy's spray has pulled all in and around it and I've used a light modeling paste on this one. So the light modeling paste has absorbed the color on there. Uh, this one here, I have done essentially exactly the same as what I've just done now. Stenciled down the side of this one, sprayed it, and just let it pull around my page. So quick, simple, easy background for scrapbook layouts. Same as this one here, I've just painted on the colour, allowed it to pull in and around. But instead of using a modelling paste on this one, I have used um, a gel medium. So gel medium through a stencil will give a resist sort of technique. So something else that's really cool. 
Here's another one. So you can see two colors mixed together and I'm not too sure if it's showing up on screen, but it's got a gorgeous shimmer to it as well. So that's something awesome that Lindy's Starburst sprays have all got in them. One of my personal favorites. So this is using a stencil. So I stenciled straight onto the background in that sort of pattern. So I've had to move my stencil around the page. And then I used the Lindy's Moon Shadow Mist to create this background. So Moon Shadow Mist is a walnut stain, a sepia colored liquid, and the shimmer is in, with, has got the color. So this color here is Tawny Turquoise, and you can see in the bottom there that it's gonna have a lovely turquoise shimmer. So I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So here's a couple more little backgrounds. So these are fantastic scrapbook page bases ready to go. Um, stenciling to create the texture, color to add the vibrancy. So same as that one there. Let's just throw those off to the side. So as that's drying up, that's looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm just gonna pop it aside and just show you a couple of other colors. So I've got this pipe stencil that I've used earlier. So this is a paper rose one. So I've currently got these on special on my website. Was $10, now down to $8.50. Um, so with this one here, if I wanna create something using the, the moon shadow sprays, giving it a really good shake to make sure that it's gonna get a really, really good coat and then I'm just gonna saturate it. So you can see as I spray that it's got that lovely walnut stain to it, but it also has a teal shimmer to it as well. So when that dries up, that's gonna look pretty amazing. Um, simple men's card, it's gonna look awesome. No, no work involved. If I wanna add a little bit more interest to it, I've got a Lucky Shamrock Green here and I can Enhance that and I'm just doing a really small squirt of Lindy's on there and now moving that around and the color is pulling all in around that stenciled background. Um, my background here is a puppy training pad. Um, a lot of you know this is my little secret that I've been using to soak up liquid when I'm demonstrating and when I'm creating. Um, works really well. I can keep on building this if I want to. So I've got some blue Caribbean blue here and this is a flat color, so it has no shimmer to it. And you can see that it's super vibrant. So I'm just gonna move that around. So yeah, quick, simple, easy card front. Um, here is a, let me put that somewhere where I'm not gonna wear it. Um, a couple of backgrounds that I have created for cards using this technique. I'll give you a, an idea. This is a bit of a sneak peek of a, a Lindy's project coming up. And you can see I've got the stenciling in the background here and you can see where I've mixed a couple of Lindy's colors together to get something that looks really awesome. So there'll be a bit of a tutorial coming up on the Lindy's Gang blog very shortly on that one. Um, so I don't know if you can see on screen if that shimmer's coming up, but it's looking pretty good. Oh, look, I can see there's a few of you online. Hey there, Anne from New Zealand. How are you, darling? And I've got lots and lots of ladies there watching. Um, okay, a couple of questions have been asked. What cardstock do you use um, and do you gesso first? When I'm um, creating cards, when I am doing something like this, no, I don't gesso first. Paper makes a huge difference. Paper is porous. Um, I've, I've wanted it to soak in and you can see that it's soaked in there. If I want the, if I want to seal the paper first, then yeah, of course I will certainly use gesso. But when I'm creating quick and easy card fronts, not at all. I don't gesso, I don't worry about it. Um, it's completely up to you if you want to do that though. That it does seal off your paper quite well. Um, here is another one that I have stenciled in the background using a brick wall stencil, then pop some Lindy's over the top. Uh, what else have I got here? So here's a, a dry one using the pipes with a black and a blue and a silver Lindy's put over the top of that. So that would look awesome as an instant card front. Um, another one here, I, put, I sprayed my cardstock with purple first, but instead of using 
modeling paste I just sprayed straight on there so I'll demonstrate this one for you super easy except for I don't have a piece of card here chat amongst yourselves all right beautiful so same thing I can just spray my uh, background here just straight with Lindy so here I've got pineapple paradise this was one of the very first colors I ever bought and look how awesome that yellow is beautiful so now I can if I, I need to dry that but before um, I do that I'm going to I'm just gonna take because I'm lazy and I can't find my heat gun so let's just pretend, pretend that's dry. Uh, I have got here a stencil girl stencil. So these retail currently on my website for $18. So therefore with the discount, it comes down to $15.30, which is really cool. Um, so now if I decide I wanna put a color over the top of that and I will use, let's use hibiscus rose. So this is a flat spray will have no shimmer to it. So this is another way to transform your papers, make them look really awesome. And you can see that I'm just going backwards and forwards. If I was to, look at that, that looks awesome. And I can layer up my color. But if I was to do it in one little spot like this, then I'm gonna get what I call a nice big ink fart for lack of a better term. So when I spray, I move it across my stencil, like so, just like that. So that has created a really interesting background. Again, another card front, another idea for your scrapbook pages, um, your art journals, all sorts of really cool things like that. Something else that I can do, I don't wanna waste what is on my stencil here, I wanna repurpose. So I have a piece of tissue paper here. Um, I have it like that and I can, just drop it on the top and it's soaking up all of my color. Peel it off and I now have a piece of colored tissue paper ready for my art journal. So really easy to use, really, really versatile, not at all difficult um, to use. So do I have a favorite weight of card? No, um, I tend to not go with anything too thin. I don't like using something too thin. I like something with a little bit of weight to it. Um, so this is using exactly the same technique as I used before, um, that I just did then. I sprayed the paper first, stencil over the top. But this is just what I make my cards out of. It's just a nice weighted card. Um, Kayser Craft cardstock 12 by 12, that works just fine. Um, watercolor paper will hold the color differently. Uh, but that will work really well. Um, you can also use the new Dina Wakely Gloss Acrylic Sprays as well. So yesterday I did a couple here and you can see that the gloss sprays work totally different. So um, these are acrylic paint in a spray. They are not the same as Lindy's, totally different product. But again, you can use them in a stencil to get some really awesome colors. So I think she's got like 12 colors in the collection and these retail for about 10 bucks online. So really, really easy to use. Um, finally, I will show you, um, here's a couple of other ones I did earlier. And for those of you who don't like to use sprays, let me show you quickly how to use them with distress, how to use stencils with distress oxides. So my clouds background here that I've done that is using the cloud stencil and layering it, layering it around my page. So that looks amazing. Super easy to do, took absolutely no time. So I'll quickly show you, except for I've made a huge mess here. Um, now, because I've got a wet background here, I'm just going to put some paper towel down to protect my, my card. But what I want to do with the stencil is, I've just got a flat piece of card. This is a Stencil Girl stencil. Um, and I'm using these blending brushes. Um, these are the Paper Rose blending brushes. Absolutely love these, they're so easy to use. Um, and it just takes, takes the effort out of 
blending. Um, I've got three colours in front of me. I've got candied apple, picked raspberry and wilted violet. And I can just go around and add a little bit of colour. So straight like that. I'm moving it around my page. Now I don't wash, I don't get a new one for each colour. I just take it off onto my background. Oops, and that one's not as inky as I would have liked it to have been. But there we go. And then if I go to purple. And this is a really, really fine stencil. So I am being a little bit more dainty than I would normally be. Which is funny because I really don't do dainty very well. Um, so yeah, super easy. Nice round sort of strokes and these are um, retail, I think you get a two pack on my website at the moment. Um, so lifting that up, you can see how awesome that stenciling looks in the background. So again, another instant card front where you can create something that just looks super easy and super cool. So, um, so that's pretty much it from me today. I have given you quite a few different ideas and things how to ideas on how to create some quick and simple backgrounds. Um, backgrounds that you can use in card making and journaling and scrapbooking and all sorts of really cool things. So I have got uh, nataliemay.com.au, jump online uh, from today until 4 p.m. on Monday. I will be having 15% off stamps, all stamps, 15% off of all stencils, all Lindy's products, which are the sprays, there's embossing powders, there's all sorts of cool stuff. They're all 15% off. Um, full paper collections, including new Color Blast, BRT papers, new Uniquely Creative, new, uh, I think there's a Stamperia on there, there's some Graphic 45. Clearance stuff is even 15% off. All of my handmade kits are 10% off. Boom Gel, which I'll be demonstrating on Sunday, showing you how easy that is. That's 20% off. Um, and tomorrow I'll be doing a demonstration at the same time using Lindy's Gang Magical Shakers, which everyone knows how much I love those. So that's it from me. Um, look forward to all chatting with you soon. Thanks for stopping by.